Hello, this is Axios, and welcome back to Let's Play Genzo Shoujo Tyson! Like I already mentioned last time, today we are going to take a look at Mariza's scenario. So let's choose her, not difficulty again. Don't wanna do this game on hard. <laughs> and the end part here is exactly the same as in Emma's scenario, so we can skip that safely. Yes, we know. Everything has been covered in Scarlet Mist. And here we are at the Kirisama residence. Where you first meet our secondary protagonist, Marisa. New magic, huh? Well, nothing uh, nothing else to expect from an ordinary magician. And she actually has noticed this. Scarlet Mist is an incident. Oops. Suddenly skipped something. Uh, you can uh, access your backlog by pressing the X button in case you, like me, uh, press the circle button twice. Hmm. So we actually have an active protagonist for once, instead of just someone lazing around. And you again. Do we see you on the... Yeah. You are that cover from the mountain. <laughs> Would she be doing the, mag the forest of magic? Hmm. Huh? What? Whoa! Poisonous mushroom? Well, actually, yokai are pretty much, well, not immortal, but a little poisoning wouldn't do them, well, it wouldn't kill them, but uh, eating something poison still probably isn't all too good for your health. So yeah, thanks for rescuing that cover there, Marisa. <laughs> that scared cover. <laughs> Easily frightened one. <laughs> uh, I love Nitori. She's one of my favorite characters. But she can't beat uh, Marisa. She's my, definitely, definitely my number one. <laughs> oh yeah, I spoiled the cover's name. Sorry. But yeah, she's Nitori Kawashiro, the Kaba from the Yokai Mountain. Like all of the Kaba, she has a great uh, knowledge in technology, which is actually really rare, rare in Gensokyo, because, well, Gensokyo's technology is still a few hundred years uh, in the past compared to our technology, except for the societies like um, the Kappa, for example. The Tango are also a little more advanced, mostly because they use Kappa technology. Yeah, having something like an optical camouflage suit, not bad. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. So we're not gonna see anything all too special, it seems. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, Mari Sasso is probably the messiest all of all the Toe characters. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it's sad that her... Uh, uh, that Mari home looks like a miniature Forest of Magic. And if you know that the Forest of Magic is basically like a maze, <laughs> yeah, you know how it is in Mari Sasso. <laughs> Ah, Kurindo. What? How do you even know that? Someone actually knows Kurindo? Well, I'm surprised. Well, except for Marisa and Reino, of course. <laughs> Special customer. Customers actually buy stuff, Marisa. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. Oh. Well, it's a good thing she knows uh, the shop owner is since, well, since basically her early childhood already. What's with that music? Oh no, it's that girl again. Aya? Oh, yeah? Who are you? Well, okay, I know, of course, but... Well, the good thing about this game is that it takes the story and the character introduction seriously. So even if you don't know the characters, you're getting introduced to them within this game really well. So I try not to give away all too much about the characters. <laughs> so I asked apparently as a reporter of some kind. But what do they want? What do they <laughs> Only? Why did they leave? Hmm, that those two people in the ending of Famous and I would also talk about the Oni, weren't they? Hmm. Gods? Whoa, that's troublesome. <laughs> of course, you would say that. <laughs> uh. hmm? Oh, now it's... We've been spotted! So, finally, welcome to Chapter 1, Departure. So, still on their way to Cutting, though, it seems. Though I wonder, how does she know of Cutting, though? I mean, is it that famous? And Well, it is the only store that deals with items from the outside world, so... Yeah, I, I would assume that people like Nitri would know such a place. And oh no, we've, we've been spotted! Oh, wait, no, they're... Well, they've caught up with us! And she even knows who our Kappa here is. So we can't even make up an alternate persona or something like that. <laughs> oh, nuts. You didn't know it was that serious? Ooh. Oh, you... you know of Marisa? Ooh. And Ordinary Magician is closer to the truth. <laughs> Previous incident. Well, Marisa had... Which one are you referring to? The one where she actually was evil or the other three? <laughs> but Aya hadn't even been introduced back then, so... Hmm. I wonder how she found out about those then. Stop taking photos of us, you paparazzi! Dude? That's a good question, Marisa. Wait. Hmm. 
Well, at least she's gone now. Yeah, the shrine made this. What do you? Yeah, what do they want to put in? But a shrine made that is not the Hakari shrine made. Isn't Raymond the only shrine made in Kasafia? This is getting weird. Yeah. Exactly. Wait, how? How did those fairies get here? I mean, those obviously aren't from the ones from the mountain because, well, we would have probably seen them. And, but on the other hand, Momichi doesn't get out of the mountain that often either, so she probably hasn't made any fairy friends down here in the Forest of Magic, so... I guess the best thing is not to, uh... Try to get logic into this went here. <laughs> uh. But yeah, our object is for this battle. But to win this battle, we have to defeat all the enemies and cannot lose all of our allies. One is still okay though. And for a bonus, we have to defeat Momiji last. This sounds easier than it actually is though. Anyway, um, something I haven't gotten into last time is the different terrains you're, uh, you can uh, walk over. For example, here we have a forest type terrain. Well, by pressing the X button you can see the different stats which the terrain will grant you. So if you choose uh, ground in your, uh, your menu here, you will receive bonuses depending on the terrain you're standing on. You will not receive any bonuses while flying. If you are in the forest terrain, you'll get 20% bonus to your defense and 10% bonus to your weight, but uh, unfortunately, while you are on the ground, it can happen that certain objects, like for example those trees here, may block your path. So by pressing the start button you can set markers on the map. Now this is as far as we can go by walking on the ground and by flying we can get up to the 7 space Marisa can fly. Actually um, Marisa is the only character that can fly up to 7 spaces without any uh, without well uh, initially on level 1. Most of the characters, like Nitori here as well, have a move status of 6. But uh, yeah, let's remove those markers again. Want them. Um, usually, if at all possible, you want to move on the ground because this does not consume any MP. Unlike flying. At least I believe flying consumes MP. And if there are no objects in your way, that's even better. And if you're lucky enough to be in a special terrain, uh, and to receive bonuses from it, that's even better. But unfortunately, the normal ground terra here doesn't give you any bonuses. But yeah, that's as far as we can go for the first round. Also, something I forgot to talk about uh, last time about the fairies. Yeah, let's use magic missile for Madisa. Um, the blonde ones, uh, usually, like you saw, move uh, towards you. They have a max movement rate of 5 spaces. And their attacks are Tackle, which is a post movement attack. And uh, well, uh, Tackle has a range of 1, 2, 3, and woo, pretty good. Nice, mighty stuff. And they also have the Player and Bullets, which is also post movement and slash type. And that has a range of 2 to 4 spaces, so if you are 5 spaces away from those fairies, you are safe to attack them. Uh, yeah, let's choose the match missile again. Uh, the green-haired fairies 
Yeah, that they're talking about folks' movement. I already talked about that, and that I don't like it. Um, the green-haired fairies usually are stationary and create the six times six. No, yeah, the six times six diamonds of Damaku with these um, three spaces right next to them. Their attacks are. Wait, what's this? Momichi, Momichi for uh, Momichi need to the enemy. Momichi is our enemy for uh, attacking this one. Yeah, the attacks of the green-haired fairies are tackle, just the same as the tackle of the blonde fairies, and the spread bullets, which have a range of two to six tiles. So yeah, you don't have a, uh, a blank spot for those fairies, unfortunately, unless you have an attack that has a range of seven, but we don't. Yeah, one more magic missile for myself. Ooh, 56% accuracy. Oh. Uh, can I attack them from here? No. Yeah, let's move into the uh, macro field then and get an evasion penalty of 15%. Ooh. That's really bad. No, actually. No. It's too risky. Yeah, let's attack that fairy then. And hope that we don't get hit, actually. We do. 1006 damage? Whoa! You're mad! That was a lot, especially for characters like Marisa, who are mostly used for evasion and not like Nitori, who is a tank. And thanks for not attacking Marisa, actually. Yeah, let's show off Monster Cucumber. Monster Cucumber is an ammo based attack, so yeah. I believe you have 8 ammo for this attack. But it doesn't cost any MP. How did you wait that? <laughs> Not that I'm uh, in any case uh, displeased with that, but why is that the one who's supposed to wait? Oh well. Ah uh, yeah. Yeah, let's move back to the air because or not. That tree doesn't really block us. But Nichiri won't be able to get far enough anyway. Marisa... Ugh, I don't want to... I wouldn't even do... Man, I don't want Marisa to get attacked even more, so... Yeah, let's... Oh, she's on the ground even. Okay. Let's just move to the side a little. I mean, unfortunately she got hit already because I moved her into the Maku field. Uh, but... Something uh, I wanted to show last time but could because it aim, uh, only has ammo based attacks so far. Here you can see Marisa's uh, attacks and their requirement. As you can see here, Marisa does not have any ammo based attacks so far at least. But instead all of them are MP based, so yeah, you probably should be a little careful here because, well, if your MP are at complete zero, the only attack that's left to you is Witch Ley Line. So you want to be careful here. On the other hand, if you ha uh, your MP at least restores a little each turn, I believe it was 10 per turn. I'm not exactly sure, so yeah, if you wait long enough, you can. After a while, use stronger attacks again, which you cannot do for ammo based attacks. And also, a new um, type of attacks here are the L attacks, lasers. Lasers uh, don't really have any bonuses, just like the slash attacks. Lasers basically can be blocked by certain uh, uh, skills. No. Um, some characters have a skill that lowers uh, the attack power of laser-based attacks, so that's not all too nice. They might have bonuses as well, but at least I don't know them. And that fairy moved towards us, nice. Mm. 
Yeah, Magic Missile because it's the strongest attack I can use now. Hmm. Nice music there in the background, Marisa. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, for those who don't recognize it, it is, uh, Vessel of Stars, Casket of Star. One of my most favorite Marisa, uh, theme songs. If not even the most favorite. But okay, um, yeah, with Nitori I would say let's move closer to the enemies. Oh, and I probably could explain the spirit abilities now too. If you go into your character menu, you can access the spirit abilities. You can use them before moving. Each character has different spirit abilities, which can be used uh, by spanning SP. Nitori here has 66 SP. So we could use Guard now, which reduces all of the damage received for one round by half. And I guess because I'm gonna move her into a heavily guarded uh, place right now, I um, yeah, it's probably not a bad idea to use that ability. And the other ability she has here, Scan, lets you uh, immediately see all of the stats an enemy has. I'm gonna use it on Momichi here. And now we can see that she has 6000 HP as well as all of her other stats and attacks. Ooh, Perry. Perry does, uh, yeah, can nullify ass attacks so that's really bad for us. And her shield here... Yeah... Momichi is kind of a tank. Not as good of a tank as Nitori is, but she's strong enough. Am I still in the forest around here? Yep, that's good. So I'm gonna stay on the ground so we can increase our defense even further. And use Extending Arm to take out this fairy here. Or at least to hurt her serially. And unfortunately, Nitori is ex. Uh, uh, I forgot the word. Accuracy isn't that great either. But it could be worse. I guess. Well, let's hope she actually... Yes, she hit. And we just received 253 damage. Otherwise, without using her spirit ability, we would have received, well, twice the damage. My son, I'm gonna use which line to conserve a bit of MP. Okay, it seems that we regain 5 MP per round. Not that much, but. Well, it's better than nothing, I guess. And considering that we consume MP by flying. Well, if you're on the ground, then that's. Nice, I guess. 5, 3 MP per round. Give it a move up into the air. Alright, as you can see here, Danmaka can stack as well as so Try not to get into stack Danmaka regions. If you do, I would actually recommend you to wait uh, to focus because minus 27% your weight is terrible. Especially for characters like Marisa who specialize in waiting. Alright. You just had to attack Marisa now, didn't you? Yeah, let's use the magic missile. Ooh, nice. We waited. Momoji doesn't move yet. She'll only move when we are right next to her movement. Which, I believe she has, um... Six movement? No. She has a max movement of five tiles. Uh, yeah, yeah let's use Monster Cucumber, which is unfortunately not post-movement. But her strongest and most accurate attack, so yeah, let's use that. Uh, already did show that off. And, ooh, pretty cool! Not that we needed that right now, but... Yeah, uh, yeah we do not want to move uh, at those spaces I'm marking right now, because once you move here, well, right next to Momiji's, um. Uh, yeah, furthest 
movement space, she will start attacking you. Well, she will close in, uh, uh, in on you and then she'll start attacking you. And as you can see here by her attacks, she is really melee based. Her no no slash is not that bad either, but you definitely do not want to get hit by hyper no no slash. Especially with Marisa, that will actually kill you. Especially if you've been hit already, like me. That was really not all too well, really. No, she shouldn't attack us here. Oh, and something about uh, Marisa's spirit ability. Marisa possesses the gain spirit ability, which will grant her twice the experience if she actually defeats an enemy. So that's really nice. Unfortunately, this only lasts for one attack, so you want to make sure that you actually can defeat the enemy by then as well. So yeah, if Marisa is behind on experience, or just to get her even faster, uh, give her uh, level ups even faster, you can use this uh, ability. And I believe I should actually... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to show you how saving works. By going to your general menu and choosing the save option, you can create a well safe state, so to say. And you're going to be uh, asked whether you want to suspend play or not, but we do not want to, uh, to do that. We actually only want to make sure that we don't screw up. Because defeating Momichi is quite a problem, actually. Mm. Because of something I'm going to show you right now. Yeah. Accuracy of 98%, that's really bad, but it isn't the need to the end. She really isn't made to wait anyway. Oh, yeah. So, let's see how much damage need to do will receive. Man, plus forward. Ah! Okay, now we might have a problem, actually. Whoa! That much damage, keep in mind. I have the damage already. Ouch! That's horrible. Yeah, now Momiji will close in on us. I guess I'm gonna risk it. The thing about Momiji is, she will run away once your HP are below... 3,000. So, yeah. Yeah, Nitri can only use Cucumber. The only attack that is... Uh, that's uh, range is... 1. Yeah, let's try. You, uh, sometimes, if you are lucky, Momiji will not run away if your HP are below 3,000. I don't know what triggers it. Possibly when you defeat the last of fairies that are around. But I really can't tell you what the, uh, what the trigger is. Okay. No. Moment she runs away. Alright, then I'm. Uh, then I can show the other thing about uh, saving, which you can do. By pressing the start, select, L1 and R1 buttons. By pressing them short, you can access. Uh, uh, you can. Uh, go back to the main menu, and by holding them for a longer time, you can access your last uh, safe state. So, yeah, that is, uh, in my opinion, the best way to try and get the bonus for the stage here. Because really, it is pretty dang difficult not to overshoot the 3000 HP line of Mommy G and um, yeah that's it's really difficult not to do that but if you can actually get close to the 3000 HP then that's really great but usually you have to be lucky and critical her 
because I believe that critting her with extend arm, I mean, yeah, that should get close to 3,000 because critical damage does not double your attack, uh, the damage the enemy receives, at least I believe that. Yeah, critical and now I dealt 2,800 damage. And I did not choose Nitri's spirit ability to die. Oh well. So yeah, let's end our turn now. And right now, because D3, uh, Mommy G's <laughs> HP is close to 3000, I can't believe I'm always uh, using D3's Mommy G's name. Heck, D3 is one of my favorite characters. Uh, no, no, wait, we want to defend with D3 now, so we don't uh, make Mommy G run away. Alright. Thanks for guarding, Nitri. Unfortunately, we do not receive any um, any bonuses from guarding experience or something like that. All right, huh? What to do now, though? I guess I screwed up there. Um, well, let's try it. I'm going to create another save file real quick. And something I haven't told you about yet is supports. Nitri has uh, the support skills, support attack and support defense. What they do is uh, support attack. When one of your characters attacks another ca uh, an enemy and a unit with the support attack ability stands uh, in one of the four fields directly next to the attacking unit, you can choose support and the character you want and make them attack as well. So that's really nice for this year right now because we have a better chance of defeating Momiji now. Actually this is the only way to defeat Momiji. At least reliably, sort of. Unfortunately we still have to get pretty lucky and get a critical in. Otherwise, um, Momiji will still have a bit of HP left. At least I believe. Unfortunately, Momiji will still attack us, and that hurts. Whew! Marissa died. I didn't want that to... Ah, come on! Okay, let's load again. <laughs> okay, the, um, it seems the... You know what? Focus muddy. Ah, nuts. Here. Yeah, muddy says focus speed uh, is 2.8. So she can only move two spaces while focusing. That's. That sucks! Okay. Unfortunately, Nitri cannot move while. Uh, if you want to choose um, the support ability. So that really is really bad. And since Nitri is directly one space away from Momichi, Marisa will be one, uh, two spaces away from Momichi as well, meaning she can use Hyper Nodal Slash. Which means we have to get even more lucky. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh well. We can reload after all, so. <laughs> and with our um, uh, accuracy. With uh, Momichi's accuracy of. 63%, eventually she will miss. <laughs> like that. Okay, and now that... Ah, nuts! <laughs> now I forgot to choose uh, Nitori's support ability. Of course. Now support Nitori, thank you. How much do we want to bet that Momichi now attacks the uh, hits us again? Come on. There we go. Right, so far so good. I'm going to reload as often as it takes me to get the bonus achievement. I have patience. And wait. Oh right, that was because Midas was flying. Yeah, um, both uh, characters have to be 
uh, on the same altitude as well, so either both can fly or both have to be on the ground. And if you do everything correctly, you can defeat Momiji. Unfortunately, you have to get one critical hit definitely, either during the combo attack or um, before the combo attack. I prefer having a critical hit before doing the uh, combo attack of Marisa and Nitori because, well, it's safer. Because it might happen that you are really unlucky and get a critical hit in and still don't defeat Momiji because Marisa doesn't deal as much damage to uh, Momiji as Nitori does, at least as far as I know. But yeah. I believe you're actually supposed to choose Monster Cucumber and Marisa's Trunks attack for the support attack against Momiji. But for that you'd have to be 4 to 6 spaces away from her. And since she starts following you around after... Um, uh, yeah, after you attack her the first time. It's pretty dang difficult to actually do that. I have never done it so far and I usually rely on the critical attacking to defeat Momiji. But yeah, that's my strategy. Maybe someone actually is able to use stronger attacks which have a further away range necessary against Momiji, but this works and since we can reload, I'm fine with that. But yeah, except for the WP bonus you get and the Ginjo Saga you receive from feeding Momiji, it doesn't really matter that much uh, whether you, uh, yeah, whether you defeat her or not. And I just noticed I could have used uh, Marisa's spirit ability to get even more experience from Momiji. Don't. I'll do the off screen. A retake, I mean. Maybe. Anyway, now we finally made it to Korindo. Took us long enough. Well, the Forest of Magic is confusing already enough. And here we have Rinosuke, the shopkeeper of Korindo. Yeah. Yeah. Suspect so. I mean, even though Koindo is placed on the border bet uh, between the uh, Forest of Magic and the Human Village, Kappa live in the Yokai Mountain, uh, on the Yokai Mountain, not inside. So, yeah, they probably still wouldn't get to his shop all too often. Quite funny, actually. Rinosuke placed the sharp uh, shop. Uh, where he placed it because he hoped he would get more customers from both the yokai and human sides, but because he placed it too far away from the human village, he doesn't get <clears throat> pretty much any human customers, and the yokais usually don't with his shop either, so <laughs> he actually screwed himself over. <laughs> and Cody? Analyzing a character's look might be useful in a light novel because that's the only way a uh, the reader knows what a character looks like, but actually doing so in a visual medium makes characters only feel uncomfortable. <laughs> At Marissa, like usual, only rating is fridge. <laughs> Okay, it's cupboard since there is no fridge in the socket. At least, a, well, maybe Codeine actually has a fridge. Not thinking about it. But he probably wouldn't have the electricity to uh, keep it running. Dorinosuke does have a heater. Well, that's really bad, considering that uh, the incident has started already, you know, only in a few days. 
<laughs> Two more days. I guess we can do like that. <laughs> she knows what a cell phone is. I mean, being able to create one and identifying one that has been made by a different culture are two different things. <laughs> and like usual, Nutani gets through techno babble mode. <laughs> Which old girl? <laughs> well, as long as it isn't a Game Boy. <laughs> In one of the light novels, Rinosuke actually found a Game Boy, and due to his ability to know what an item does, he thought that the Game Boy was a device to create, manipulate, and erase worlds. Like in, putting a cartridge in is creating a world, playing the game is manipulating a world, and putting the cartridge out again is erasing the world. But <laughs> he unfortunately thought that the game was able to do that to our, well, to his world, so yeah. It's obvious that he wanted to destroy the gay boy. <laughs> So if uh, his um, ability actually does something good, then it's a really good ability to have. Not for fighting, but for a shopkeeper it is def definitely good. And I've been talking way too much about Cody in there. It goes without saying that uh, Cody is one of my ca favorite characters too. And no, it's not because he is one of the handful of male to characters. It's because he's awesome. <laughs> Did you usually say all of it is only garbage? Exactly! <laughs> uh. Actually, Rinosuke got a, I believe, weather controlling sword from Marisa because she didn't know what it did. And, uh, yeah. What Marisa got in return was garbage compared to such a powerful artifact. <laughs> oh, so you're going to visit her? I thought you didn't meet her anymore until the next incident. And no, the couple are the only people who would do something with uh, with gadgets. Here, in these parts of Kinsaku, we use magic! <laughs> Mr. Kodindo. Yeah, considering that yokai and humans, well, yokai usually either eat or um, scare humans to uh, survive. So yeah, how does she make all the, uh, that many yokai friends anyway? And fairy friends too. Well, okay, maybe they're not really friends, but at least um, they got along really well. Oh well, anyway, now that we have finished this chapter as well, 
I'd say we are going to end this for today. Next time, I'll continue with Rayma's story again. And I will go over the intermission screen as well. Anyway, this was NCS. Until next time, have a nice day! Definitely do not forget to use the gain ability on Marisa before defeating Momiji. Definitely. Ooh, and Marisa learned Excel. Nice.